hello everyone welcome back so in this tutorial I'm gonna show you the rotation of the instancer with some basic script so let's start so create a geometry let's call it FX go inside let's create a grid grid is for our, our emitter particle emitter so pull this one upward on y axis and about 10 and you can increase the 20 yeah like this and now sc scatter some of the points uh, like 50 for now and create a angle and write id equal to pdm let's create a pop net yeah so you can change the pop source to from scatter onto surface to points because it's all points now play it you can see nothing is falling down no particles emitting nothing so this is why because of the gravity so let's add the gravity and now check yes the particle is falling so now Come to the birth tab on the pop source and decrease the birth rate to something around 50 and like life to 5 attribute and and nothing else let's play again yeah let's set the camera create a camera plate cool now our next step is create a top import node and call this out outside We can drop directly here and object masses pop stop and fetch a vector from the top network yeah so now the particle is came out so for instancer we are going to use copy stamp and we can create some of the geometry like box uh, not sphere because you can't see the rotation in the sphere we will create some uneven shape like uh, torus or now next is tube okay for now we can take this three and let's take switch node and merge this all now connect this is what primitive to copy this one and this is the template to copy this is the points so now visualize this now you can see only box copied on this point not torus not even tube only box so how can we randomly distribute these three geometry on this number of points so for this we're gonna write some copy stamp method so click on copy go to the stamp node click here stamp input 
and we'll go on a create some variable name so whatever you want you can create for this example i'm going to create uh, the variable vari i'm going to create the variable name object obj you can create your own and you can write random on bracket dollar pt and into how many object we have three objects so zero one two so total number is two if we have four object over here so zero one two three okay so like this if we have three object then two if you have 10 object then 9 it will start from 0 okay then come to the switch node and here you can write stamp bracket double colon now inside inside this double colon you can call this copy node double dot slash copy copy one you can call this copy one comma on double slash you can type obj object what we have create this is the variable name zero so this is the obj this is this object okay same name so now you can see our torus our tube and our box all are instance over here now check see box torus tube everything is there <coughs> sorry now you see the uh, instancer are too big as compared to my camera angle camera distance so for decreasing the stem you can write one wrangle or randomize this stamps copy stamps so for randomization of this points or this instancer on scale you can write a script like at p scale equal to fit 0 1 write rand at pt num point number random point number and I'm going to create the minimum scale to 0 0.52 and maximum scale to 0 0.6 say minimum to maximum this script randomly distribute the scale method to individual particles so now you can see there is no rotation in this instancer all are going on the linear directions so for the rotation thing what we have to do is go to again copy create a variable like root x you can create your own also as again root y and root z okay for the three directions and for value you can write fit 0 1 random dollar pt from 0 to 360 degree you can copy these three here yeah we are done so <coughs> now create transform node again yeah. transform by the help of this transform we are going to rotate this instancer individually so remember these three names root x root y root z so we are again going to write one script here for rotation x we are going to write stamp double colon again call the copy one comma double colon the variable name for root x rotation for root x zero now copy paste 
on the y root y on the z just rename the variable name let's see so now you can see the instancer are rotated but it is it is not rotating continuously throughout our animation timeline so for this you have to add one more thing just say plus dollar ff per frame plus dollar ff plus dollar ff now check you can see the rotation is there but it is very less so for this we have to multiply some of the value so for make it easy i'm going to add some parameter so three parameter i'm going to add for x rotation for y rotation for z rotation you can write uh, root speed root rotation speed x now rotation speed y now rotation is speed set accept so let's see here we created three parameters so for rotation x you can copy here and you can paste into after into you can just right click paste relative reference enter so again for the y again copy here you can multiply paste relative reference enter for z also same copy paste relative reference enter so now you can give some values to this like uh, 50 speed on x 9 20 speed on y again 80 speed on z let's see you can see now the rotation happens you can decrease also the speed by 5 by 2 by 8 5 okay by 8 now you can see the rotation so now you're going to know how to rotate instancer by simple scripts how you can give multiple object to the particle and this script for random p scales on the instancer so hope you understand this tutorial thank you everyone